Ishan from Kashmir. Hello, jo- Sheikh. Assalamu alaikum. Assalam. Uh, your name is? Uh, yeah, I'm Ishan's wife actually. Okay. Uh, Fariha. Okay. Yes, uh, I just wanted to ask that can I take COVID-19 vaccine like if it contains poke gelatin and also like should I take it if I'm not aware of its effect- effectiveness if it is like uh, good for me or it, it might harm me Sh- should I take it? Okay, I will answer inshallah. Fariha from Kashmir says now what do you think of the COVID-19 uh, vaccine if it contains gelatin? We talked about gelatin so many times and said that uh, um, it's an issue of dispute and the most authentic opinion is that it undergoes a rigorous, vigorous, very strong process that changes its chemical and physical uh, attributes so that it is not anymore the substance that it was before, whether it is dead meat or pork or whatever. And hence, because of the difficulty in staying away from it, and this opinion says that it has been transformed into a new substance, then it's halal, inshallah, to consume it. Whether it's in COVID-19 uh, uh, vaccines or in any other vaccines, because there are hundreds of uh, um, vaccines, measles, smallpox, uh, cholera, etc. Now, What's the ruling on taking it without verifying the results as it has not been tested and it is not approved? It is given an emergency approval, but it was not approved or thoroughly tested. So if a person doesn't want to take it, would he be sinful? The answer is no. Is it safe to take it though it was not thoroughly tested? I'm not a specialist. I cannot tell. I cannot come and say, mm, no, there is, is this mRNA has this problem and it's going to attack your uh, brain cells. It's going to cause you Alzheimer's. It's going to cause you many uh, progressive uh, cases of, of cancer, etc. How would I know? I'm not a specialist. So you don't ask a sheikh unless there are studies that the sheikh can read and give his verdict according to trusted people. At the moment, we don't have this data. So it's all every person's uh, uh, own call. You want to take it? Take it. You don't want to take it? Nobody's forcing you to do it. So, Sheikh, are you going to take it? Definitely not. I'm not going to take it because I'm not in need to it, alhamdulillah. I don't see any reason compelling me to, to take it with the grace of Allah, Azza wa Jal. And maybe a year or two, if we don't see them changing into Chinese or uh, growing uh, uh, bat ears and and wings, maybe I would take it. But by now, no. This is something that you have to go and ask your trusted physician, not any doctor that is parroting what he heard from uh, uh, the, the WHO or the CDC or whatever, no. Go to researchers whom you trust, and there are many of them, and ask them. And if you believe what they say, you can follow that without any problem.